have the Interceptor 3.0 Indoor Outdoor Flight Radio Controlled Hobby Class Helicopter. This is a dual rotor helicopter I found at Radio Shack for about 60 bucks, and we'll take a look at that more later. We're going to do some hardware hacking on that. The goal is to put a little tiny camera on that helicopter, fly around and capture some video. Uh, aerial video just for fun just to see what the helicopter will lift also we're gonna do a little testing with lifting stuff just see just what it can get off the ground with to take those pictures I have a little uh, radio AV receiver here I've got a tiny camera here uh, I've used this on a few other projects before put it on some robots I'm not sure what its range will be outside in this environment it varies greatly depending on where you are and what kind of proximity you are in to 2.4 gigahertz which is a pretty popular band with uh, cordless phones the older ones and um, Wi-Fi is near there uh, you know a lot of frequencies and who knows what will happen but it'll be fun to try this is the interface for uh, the laptop for the video um, these things are pretty cool just plugs into the USB port and converts uh, the NTSC signal here into a signal that goes across USB, digitizes it. Um, also have S video in on this. That's a real handy thingy. You can find all that stuff online if you go doing a little Google searching for it. Um, that uh, camera and receiver was about, I think, $40, $50. I bought it a few years ago. So, well, it's time to do the unboxing of the helicopter. So let's uh, let's get at that. around the blades and the body and of course it's got this annoying uh, wire stuff here you know the funny thing about this kind of packaging though um, I've dealt with it before is there's kind of some good little tidbits left over from some of the stuff this little piece of plastic here is pretty handy you know I keep things like this it's got a nice little uh, channel on the end there and this could be used for all kinds of stuff. I've used these for battery hold downs inside little robots. So, cool stuff to recycle and save. I'll toss that aside. Even this little wire bit right here, this stuff. This is also kind of handy. You know, you can use it for a little wire tie, um, for pulling things through holes, threading things. Keep stuff, repurpose it. It's all over the place if you just go look for it. So, there's one more right here. Yeah, and you know, a lot of the packaging of things you buy, I bet if you look hard, you'll find all kinds of things you can turn into other stuff. That's what I do here at Hack Week in my little lab at home, is dream up ways to repurpose things. This idea came to me pretty quick today, just in the middle of the day. I thought, hey, get a helicopter, put that little camera on it. And so here we are. There's our, our copter, the Interceptor 052. Plug this uh, into the charger here, get it charging up. While we're doing that, let's see what else is in here. We've got the remote control, and they've got the antenna, and we've got a spare tail rotor. Hmm, spare tail rotor. What do you think is going to break first? <laughs> anyway, keep that aside, and then we spin our uh, little antenna on here, and we've got a complete little cheap-ass RC. Cool. This runs on a 9-volt battery that goes in here. Got some of those charging up over here on the side. Alright, enough of that. Let's get back to this. Charge, charge. I command the... Take a look at the instructions. Yes, I read instructions, so give me a minute while I look this over. The Interceptor 052 is charged up and ready to go. Time to weigh in. Let's see what our gross weight is on this thing. 4.8 ounces. Let's put that on our data sheet. 4.8 ounces. And let's keep track of it in grams, too. 137 grams. Okay. First liftoff test with uh, nothing but the stock helicopter weight. Let's uh, give it a go. Pretty easy to lift off there. We get 
back over here a little, getting used to the controls. I'm kind of banging into stuff here. <laughs> I fashioned up a, a little payload bay in the uh, skids with just some sticky tape, just some scotch tape. Now I'm going to put one ounce of weight in here. Let's just start out with an ounce because any upgrades we want to do are more than that. So let's see what it does. With one ounce of weight placed directly under the blades, under the motor. That way it should stay fairly balanced. Here we go. One ounce. It still gets off the ground. Okay. Let's ramp it up to two ounces. Another sinker going fishing. Well, we're not going fishing, but we're using fishing stuff. So there we go. There's two, two ounces, two happy little sinkers going helicopter flying. All right. Let's, here we go. Two ounces. Can it lift it? Half throttle, three quarter throttle. Oh, barely. You can barely get off the ground with a half an ounce, or two ounces, I mean. Two ounces barely off the ground. So that's about it, I think. I don't think we can get any real altitude or real good flying out of it when it's like that. Ooh! <laughs> Everything's okay. I need to get this outside and learn how to fly it outdoors. But there we go. I'd say two ounces is our max payload. We're back. Uh, I took it for another test flight without anything on it the first time I actually got it up in the air and tried to maneuver and it doesn't like to go fore and aft very well at all. Um, kind of a crappy thing there going on but there's a little room to move this back that away which would give me a longer lever basically on what this is doing so I'm gonna give that a try there's a little bit of room here to slide this boom back and see if I can get a little more maneuverability because right now it kind of sucks I can't go forward and backwards I'm just at the mercy of wherever it wants to go I finally figured out why I couldn't get fore and aft control out of this thing and it has nothing really to do with the tail rotor or any of that it has to do with this this is called the fly bar and I posted the um, a little detail about that. There's a wiki page on it on my uh, project page at hackaweek.com. In the ends of these, right here in this little compartment, there's a screw you can take off and inside there was a little weight. There was one on each end. That little weight is right here. Just a tiny little thing. But what it does is it creates a gyroscopic effect and then this can move independent of the lower rotor so as, as the uh, you know, the, the copter tilts, this counters the other way and helps keep it stabilized. So if you get rid of some of that weight, there's not as much centrifugal force and gyroscopic effect, so when you try to tilt it, it'll actually respond quicker. Because what the fly bar does is it resists moving off this axis. So if I tilt like this, it wants to stay level. But if it's perturbed long enough, it'll eventually come in line with this. It'll come in perpendicular to the spinning shaft. So, the short version of all that nonsense I just said is if you take the weight out, the helicopter will maneuver a lot easier. So, got some sticky back on the camera. We are going to stick it right about, I think I'll keep it as close to the center of the copter as possible. There we go, right there. Mounted. There we go, one mounted up 9 volt battery. All we need to do now is uh, power it up and go see if it'll fly. Woohoo! Almost. It'll hover above the ground. <laughs> That's about all it'll do. Well, we've gathered a bit of data now, so we know that the helicopter can lift two ounces maximum. That's absolute maximum, with uh, very little ability to gain altitude or maneuver very well. And if we look at our little camera, 
which is 0.4 ounces, a battery holder that adds just a, a tenth of an ounce, a tiny bit more, and then the uh, battery, there we go, we are right at 2 ounces to carry all that. So that's pushing it, and that leaves no room to upgrade the batteries in the helicopter. So what that all means is it's time to do a little re-engineering on the copter maybe and see if we can lighten it a few places and uh, gain some payload back. Well, I took it out for a flight as is and uh, it wouldn't get off the ground. Wah, wah, wah. It would go about like... and that's it. It won't go up. So, this is where the hack and fun comes in. This is where we try to find something we can take off from this copter. We gotta be able to take something off this thing and turn it into something that'll fly with the camera and the battery on board. So how do we lighten it up? Where or oh where can we shave some weight? Maybe we can do a little cutting away of some of this inner material and not compromise the uh, perimeter of it. That might help. All it would take is a little bit and we can get airborne. So let's see what we can do. Let's start hacking this thing. Okay, the helicopter's been through the chop shop. We really chopped the hell out of it. I took out a lot of metal in this area here underneath um, on both sides. I took the canopy off. I took the skids off. I took off the screws that hold the skids in. I even took off the cover for the battery, which surprisingly weighed two grams. Well, it all adds up, you know. That's on there with a wire tie now. The camera is mounted with a piece of sticky back, so I took the metal bracket off for that. Everything I took off is in this little tray right here. So let's uh, chuck it all onto the scale and see just how much weight we shaved. A half an ounce. Looks like we took a half ounce off or uh, 15 grams. So one half ounce we took away and that means that the entire rig now weighs in at Remember our maximum weight before, as determined by what it would lift and what it was in the stock configuration, was uh, 6.8 ounces. Now we're at 6.2. So, yeah, we're about a half ounce or a little more lighter. Alright, moment of truth. Let's go give it another try. Okay, we got video capture. Uh, make sure we're... On, initialize. Yep. All right. Let's try a lift off. <laughs> Definitely lifted off, though. Got some air time, and it was gaining altitude. Are we still, uh, still connected? Yeah, we're still, still got a good video feed. Let's try a hand launch here. That might help a bit. Here we go. My goodness, are you okay? Do the, do the crashes look totally atrocious or what? Let's see if we can get over into the other area of the backyard away from the trees. And it is starting to rain, so gotta hurry up. Here we go! So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching this one. Oh, who's watching who? Wait a minute. Anyway, uh, get one of these things at Radio Shack or elsewhere. I've heard they're at Costco really cheap, like 30, 40 bucks, something like that. Any RC helicopter. And the challenge is, get a little mini camera. And the battery that will uh, work with it, a little transmitter, like that one. And see if you can get a helicopter to fly and shoot some video around your yard. So until next time, keep on hacking. Oh no, we're landing on.
on the roof. <laughs>